The last time I was behind a podium was in the eighth grade, so it's been a while, but I'd rather just talk to you because I don't need a microphone. Yeah, so I, but I'd rather talk to you because I hate, I hate mics. But so you need you need it for television. So here's a story. I live in Brockton, over on the west side in Ward One, and I own a sandwich shop in Boston. It's called Roast Beast. We make the greatest sandwiches in the world. And I've been living in Brockton for four years, and I've seen the city under Bill Carpenter, and it's a great city, and it could be so much more. And this year, I was inspired to run for city councilor because I really care and I want to make a difference. And I'm a small business owner. I went to BU, I graduated in 2009, and I've owned my own business my whole life. So balancing a uh, checkbook, running a business, talking to people, shaking hands, getting the pulse of the community is what I've been doing my ho whole life. And um, so being from Brockton, my grandfather was a World War II veteran, grew up on, in Bob's house. I used to sleep there when my parents got mad at me in snowstorms. They'd send me and my sister over there. And uh, I live on Santee Road, and I see a lot of stuff in Brockton that hasn't happened in a long time. And I think if there was vision, if there was youth, if there was term limits, and people weren't on the city council for, you know, 15, 20 years, you know, if you're president of the United States and you can't get it done in eight years, you're fired. You know, you can't, you're not getting elected again. And so we have an opportunity, just like we spend over the next nine years, $54 million on water that we barely use when we could have bought the thing, the Aquaria plant, a long time ago. And, uh, you know, we could spend that money on schools. We could spend that money on after-school programs for kids. Uh, there's so much real estate around Brockton that could be developed. Look what Lynn's doing. They have high-rises everywhere. And you drive out of Brockton High. I used to get uh, watermelon coolers at Friendly's. And that's just a parking lot. Nothing's happened there. So, you know, I'm running for Ward 1 because I really care. I love the city. I'm not going anywhere. And uh, it means a lot to me. And I want to make a lasting impact on the city and do it for two to four years and then pass it on to someone. Because people should be inspired to give back to the community, just like my grandfather and my other family members. My father's been working in Brockton, my uncle, all my family members, you know? So we should embrace that and get other people to do it. But I really appreciate you guys and the NAACP for having me. And uh, this is really an honor. It's the first time for me. So uh, thank you very much. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.